Hello, I'm Richard Vobes, the Bald Explorer, out on another exploration, and today I am, well, I'm out in the countryside by a river, really excited, by the River Way. I'm in Tilford. But to help me explore Tilford and look at some of the wonderful landscape, heritage and nature is the one and only Mark English. And here he is. Hello, Mark. Good morning, Richard. Which way are we going? Which way? <laughs> See what I did oh, there? No, yeah, I did. Very <laughs> clever. Very For those that don't, Mark, no, don't know Mark, that's how it goes. Um, Mark is also another vlogger, aren't you? Apparently so, yes. Yeah, yes. you're a YouTube channel. Yes, yeah, I do very similar things. Uh, heritage and History, um, one of my other channels all about the paranormal. Um, but yeah, Heritage, History, Travel, Vlogging. And we'll put the link in the description, so check him out as well. We are by a medieval bridge on the river way river where way. two sp not spurs tributaries, tributaries no, yeah. or starts sources yeah. come together converge. They converge yes they converge into the proper river way that's right yes. and behind us is is one of the two medieval bridges yes. at tilford where is tilford tilford is right in the sort of lowest it's just off the a3 uh, we're going through the London to Portsmouth Road, so we're just past Guildford, about three miles outside uh, Farnham in Surrey. And not close to Waverley Abbey as well, well Yeah, it? Waverley Abbey, where Richard and I did our very first video about a year ago. And actually, actually Waverley Abbey, or the monks of Waverley Abbey, have a connection with the bridges. They built the bridges. Uh, they also built uh, Warnborough Ancient Barn, medieval barn, which is not far from here, about four miles from here as oh, well. Right. Oh, so okay. they had very much big presence in the area, yeah. Now, when you read that in a book, I just this is the funny thing, you know, you read it in a book and you say the, the monks built the bridges. Did they physically build them or did they get other people? I've to... actually thought that myself. I think they actually were very labour sense, labour intensive and actually built them themselves. Yeah. Built, no, they're very skilled people. Yes, because you you know, you think of them as tonsured people yeah. in big robes, just spending all day mm. praying and um, doing the service mm. to those who have endowed the mm. thing. But I'm sure they, they got local people to help, I'm sure. Yeah. But I think yeah. they actually were, you know, quite uh, hands on. It's just one of those things that I've always wondered about. Yeah. And you read these things in book, and they never explain it. And I assume the historians think, well, people must yeah. know. When they must know. King Henry VIII, uh, he built none such mansion. Well, he didn't build it himself, no, did he? You know? No, that's right. <laughs> but but the, the monks may have mm. been hands on. Yeah. It's built, I know, from Ironstone, yes. which is it's everywhere in Surrey isn't it yeah. uh, apparently so yes yeah. yes yeah a lot of ironstone mm. hence the the forges and the hammer ponds and the iron industry in the Surrey Hills because we are actually just in the Surrey Hills just in we? the Surrey Hills yes just on the outskirts yeah, yeah. coming into sort of Hampshire and, uh, and an uh, area Sussex. of out, out area of outstanding natural beauty so we're gonna have a quick uh, gander around um, some of the sites in this very lovely rural Beautiful. little village um, with its cricket green and 16th century 17th century farmhouses yes yes very very i've never been here before i live in sorry all my life i've never actually been never to this been village here. so it's an exploration for me as well there are some trees there, there are some, some there is a one particularly old tree we're also going to have a gander at so let's uh dilly dally no longer <laughs> dilly dally and oh and 1947 all over again <laughs> absolutely that's that's almost my year of my birth <laughs> not not that way right okay We've just crossed over the bridge and had a little look round mm -hmm. at the bridge and coming over we spotted these two fascinating bits of history from not, I was going to say, not from medieval times. This of course is a couple of pillboxes yeah. and look very well preserved as well. From the Second World War. Yes. Now th th we're in the middle of Surrey. What are pillboxes doing in the middle loads of Loads of pillboxes along the North Downs. Um, so this would, this, I mean, some along the North Downs way, not far from here. So there's many, many, many along the way. And I assume that these are guarding the river because this is, yes, you know, you get up, get up to the point, as we said before, where the convergence is as it gets narrower and narrower. And, and if the Germans during the Second World War had invaded, they would have come up presumably. And our troops, yep. our, our people, our fine, our, our fine, fine warriors, people, yeah, would have been inside this sort of thing. 
guarding it and protecting mm. it. Thank God they never had to use it. But oh, I love the fact yeah. that it's covered in this ivy. It's a shame we can't get in, really, because it looks really well preserved in there and not actually too messy. Yes, there's this fence. Yeah. It's, it's on private land, yeah. clearly, we but don't wanna... it's incredibly well preserved yes. in there. Fantastic. It's amazing what, you, you know, I didn't expect to see no, pill boxes no, today. No, nor did I. In this wonderful, <laughs> quaint, quintessential English village. So, this is the first of three trees mm -hmm. on the green. Yeah. Um, this isn't the 800-year-old tree. No. It's, it's old, but it's not that old. No. It's about 120. It's commemorated for Queen Victoria's 60th and, uh, birthday anniversary. Or anniversary. Yeah. Yeah. Birthday on the, in 1897, the, I think. Absolutely. They've, they've commemorated all of them, uh, uh, the three of them. And this is the first. But So this is 120. Um, I'm just interested because it's actually for 120. It's gives you a measure of how that big girth, it is. Yeah, that girth is probably... I'm going to quickly run round it. Yeah. So I did that quite quickly, did, didn't, didn't I? You? Yeah. Right, there's We've another one up that way. Should we go and look at that one? Yeah. I think so. So, here we are. This is the second tree. All of these are on the corners yes. of the green. It's, it's mm -hmm. great. Um, this, what's this one for? I think this will commemorate King Edward VII's coronation in 1902. Ah, gosh. So, uh, heralding the Edwardian era. So this again is um, only 120 odd years. Yeah. Something like that. Um, it's your turn to run around the tree this time. Yeah. Sorry mate, can't go any further. <laughs> But, Mark, these are nice. There's another one up there, which mm -hmm. is the accession of George the... George the... <laughs> that one. That one, I'll bang it on the screen. Um, <laughs> I've got a bit of paper, actually, with it written on. George the somebody or other. Uh, oh, just King George. George, just the accession of King George in 1910. There's people looking at this video yeah. going, just tut, 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 tut. They don't know what they're talking about. And the thing about that one is, it fell down in the storm of... Uh, 1987. That big storm, yeah. yeah. Big storm of 1987. So they've replanted it, so it's a titchy little thing, so it's hardly worth watching it at the moment. I've got a horse chestnut in my back garden, which is about the same size as this. Now, oh, wow. That dates to the late 1700s. Does it? Yeah. So, I mean, the amazing growth of that is relatively quick for 120 yeah. very, very years. Quick. But, you want to see a, a tree that's 800 years old? Oh, yes. It's just over there. Let's go and see it. Let's go. And a seat for us. Oh, ah, lovely. Oh, We've been walking all morning. Yeah. Ah, now, um, behind us is this very lovely, very ancient, venerable, perhaps the word is. That's a very good word, uh, venerable. 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 Thanks. You're um, welcome. I read it in a book. Did you? <laughs> yeah, close to the end, actually, with a number of other words beginning with V, like verbs. And anyway, uh, it's an oak tree. Vitality. It's, it, it's, yes, sorry. It's, it's got a lot of vitality, hopefully, this oak tree. Mm. It's, um, I think it's about 800 years old, but you can read other bits and people will say a thousand or two thousand mm. and all that nonsense. Um, William, old. <laughs> it is old. Yeah. Now, just that down there, on that side of me, is a little plaque mm -hmm. that tells you that William Cobbett came and had yes. a look at this. Him of Rural Rides of again. Rural Rides, yeah. And the pa pamphleteer and political uh, outspoken farmer, mm -hmm. etc. Um, and he visited it, and, and actually I think he measured it, and in a book I've got it says, oh, he measured it, and he measured it wrong. Oh. <laughs> Which is interesting. Um, don't ask me any more details about that because it didn't give me any. <laughs> oh, right. Okay. The other interesting thing about this tree is it's called the Bishop's Oak. Bishop's Oak. It used to be called Bishop's Oak. Mm -hmm. And then it's Noble's Oak. What, uh, N O V E L? L. Yeah. Noble's Oak. Noble's Oak. Oak. Okay. Uh, the black here calls it Tilford Oak. And on, it, in Wikipedia, <laughs> they call it the Royal Oak. And a number of people have called it the Royal Oak. Um, but the author of the book I've got about the bit I told you about William Cobbett yeah. says that that's confused because there was an oak tree uh, in the boundaries of the manor of Waverley Abbey. Yes. 
and that's what they think they're confusing. Anyway, I'm confusing you. I've confused me. I probably confuse you. Not at all. Oh, good. Thank God what, for that. What video are we doing? Uh, <laughs> yes, this is a seaside video. Yes, yes, lovely. Anyway, it's a beautiful old oak, but it's, it's got this strange cladding on it. Yes. This iron-clad oak tree. Maybe um, trying to protect its yes. bark or something. Maybe the bark was. Um, it's diseased. It's hollow on the inside, mm. so it's probably stopping that. It's got mesh on one side, so I don't know whether they're bats. Could it be an elf it. or elfin safety. Elfin safety. The elf. Because it's right by the road, it could. You know, don't want it falling into the road. The elf of elfin elf, safety elf. lives in there. He does. The elf. That's very good. The elf. Very the good. Elf <laughs> I'll get that in. And also, it's been pollarded at some points. Heavily pollarded. Those boughs must have been quite big oh, and dangerous. Yeah, very much so. Um, st very much so. Oh, I'm oh. saying it. I'm always saying it. If you've seen uh, some of the past videos, very much so. Very much so. I said, I'm never going to say that again. <laughs> so, yeah, a fascinating oak, uh, and it's lovely to see it, and mm. it still seems to be um, in well alive. I yes, was going to say it, it seems it to is, be in, yeah. in, in, in leaf, but it's not yet because no. it's a bit early for oaks. Yeah. Well, this is a lovely little bridge, and what's What's better about this bridge is it's not marred by all the red and white yes. protective... I probably don't have as many accidents on this one as I had on the other one. Gosh. It's a river one. Very clean river. It is a very clean river. So this is t uh, Tilford West Bridge. West Bridge, Bridge yes. Built by the monks. In the 13th Another one. century, yes. In the 13th century. It's rather lovely. Let's have a look up this end. Mark, I'm interested because you spied this. Yes driving in uh, coming to meet you earlier um, we found this little cage like a little lockup I think it might be a lockup there's no plaque to say what it is but there's nothing inside no it's an empty I mean it goes back about 12 15 feet yeah. something like that um, I read that's something with the dome through hundreds yeah definitely it's, it's not a modern thing it's no. built into the bank yeah um, of, of here which is why I've given you a, a big wide shot it's built into the bank and it is an unusual thing it's storage area but why? Yeah. Or a lock-up. I think, lock think a lock-up. I think more like the village lock-up, mm. something like that. I mean, unless anybody, you know, from the, the Tilford area knows, it, it would be fascinating to find out. Yeah, if anyone knows, please let us know. That would be really yeah. interesting. I would like to have said I could have uh, locked you in there, Mark. Oh. But um, I can't. I've got the key. You ain't got the key, mate. No. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed our little soiree around Tilford. Tilford. It's been delightful. Thank you, Mark. Very much. I'm very happy to finally come here. Yes, yeah. it's been great. Medieval bridges, castles. The, we passed the Barley Mow just now. We're yes. going to investigate the insides of that privately. Right. Uh, don't forget to follow, like, subscribe, become a patron, all those usual things. But in the meantime, check out Mr. Mark's, uh, Mr. English's uh, podcast thing. Down below. <laughs> Down below. <laughs> podcast thing. You do a podcast? Yeah, I do a podcast yeah. as well. Yes, uh, the Z Planet podcast. There we are. Uh, and we'll see you on the next one. Cheers, guys. Right. Uh, I think it's uh, my round, is it? Yeah. I think it's Oh, is it? Oh, right. Yeah.